Robert Stein was finally making the trip himself. And to complete the set, Mirosoft had secretly sent Kevin Maxwell to move along negotiations for their interests. Both Stein and Maxwell had meetings set for the same day. Hank had no such meeting arranged. He didn't even have an address for Elorg. I did know that I was going behind the Iron Curtain for the first time, but I had no idea what I was getting into. I kind of knew how to deal with people that were not from my original culture. So I was expecting to get off that plane and make friends. That's not what happened. I guess it's just the beginning of my trip and I'm in for a lot more. Hank recorded his adventure to take back to Japan. Take a look outside here. This is uh, Moscow. It looks pretty gray. That's because it's pretty gray. Everybody that I met was unfriendly and unhappy and grumpy. There was an information desk in the hotel. I asked them, a Lorg. They said, no, I can't find it. No attempt at going any further. Here I am, waiting for a phone call from Japan, watching video of Hawaii, because the TV doesn't work. The radio doesn't work. I've read everything I can read. Hank spent his first night in the in-tourist hotel overlooking Red Square. Right at the heart of a seemingly impenetrable Soviet state. I got smart the next day and I hired an interpreter, which I'd never considered doing uh, before, but I hired an interpreter. I, I figured they, they have to be able to help me. I have a very lovely interpreter. <laughs> Her name is... My name is Allah. <laughs> uh, your name is Allah. <laughs> okay, Allah has located uh, Elorg for us. So, this afternoon we should get a lot of things done. One big impression I got from Moscow at the time is there's no color anywhere. There's no advertisements. Nobody's trying to sell you anything. So the whole place is kind of bland. It's like all the color has been sucked out of, out of a city. О том, что ко мне на встречу пришел иностранец из Японии. Значит, его зовут Хэнк Роджерс. Вот. И дальше мне было сказано, что это является нарушением режима, потому что в то время обязательно договариваться о встрече с иностранцами надо было заранее и давать информацию в протокольный отдел о том, что кто будет, какая цель, тема переговоров и так далее. You don't walk into a place like that uninvited. You have to have an invitation, and then your invitation has to be cleared with the KGB. Make sure that you are somebody above board. They do your background check before you ever have a meeting. I just walked in. A meeting was hastily convened for the next day. The same day, Belikov was due to meet Maxwell and Stein. The following day would prove crucial for the future of Tetris. All would hinge on the communists' ability to play the capitalists at their own game. Already they understood the capitalist mantra of divide and rule. Все захотели встретиться сразу в один день. Я не понимал до конца, конечно, что за, за кем стоит, но я понимал, что нельзя допустить, чтобы каждый из трех сторон встретился друг с другом. The first to arrive at Belikov's office was Hank Rogers, proudly clutching the video game he was producing in Japan. Как только мы сели за стол с господином Роджерсом, он без какого-то промедления достал такую коробочку. Честно говоря, я не понял, что это. И говорит, господин Беликов, я продаю ваш товар очень успешно. And I said, see, the, uh, we're publishing Tetris in Japan. We're the biggest publisher of Tetris in the world right now. Я сказал, Илорг никому не давал права 
использованию Тетриса для видео Home System. I said, no, 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 you did. And I turned the package around and see, see, the rights go from Elorg to, to Mirrorsoft to Tengen and to uh, my company Bulletproof Software.